So, Caroline, um, I am 23 now. I'm from Minnesota. I live in the Minnetonka area in Minnesota. I just graduated college back in May. So I actually work downtown in Minneapolis. I'm working for U.S. Bank and I'm an anti-money laundering investigator. So my degree in college was in criminal justice. So along the same lines, I'm actually going to be coaching a girls basketball team coming up in November. So that'll be my first year coaching. So I'll go from my downtown office job to that. So obviously basketball is a hobby of mine. That's kind of something I've always been passionate about. Probably been dealing with it since I was like 16 or 17. Ever since, you know, puberty hit, got my period, that kind of thing, hormones just went whack. My mom and my sister both have struggled with it. My sister did Accutane a little while ago. It worked great for her. I'm a little hesitant to try it yet. My mom dealt with it into her 40s. She still gets it sometimes now in her 50s. So clearly it's very genetic. So I went on the pill as like a way to try to deal with it. I am now just went off of it like two weeks ago. So who knows in a few months, my face will probably freak out from, like they don't tell you this when you just go to like a regular GP of like, here's what'll happen when you go off of it. So from reading other people's stories, it seems like it tends to come back kind of with a vengeance. So a little bit worried for that, but we'll deal with it when we get there. I've pretty much been on the pill. I've tried different like antibiotics before. I'm back taking my spironolactone again, hoping that'll kind of just subside when the pill kind of totally is out of my system in a few months. I take like zinc every day. I take magnesium every day, multivitamin. I really truly do eat a really healthy diet. I, I switched over a few months ago. So I really don't eat a lot of junk food. And sometimes I feel like actually my skin was better when I did eat crap, which is weird. And I mean, I drink like at least 64 ounces of water a day. Like, you know, you feel like you do everything that they tell you to do that will give you clear skin and it just doesn't work. Yeah, so I'm back taking like spironolactone and stuff, just hoping to kind of like push off anything that's coming. Otherwise, I've tried to go back to just like very natural, like skincare stuff besides obviously like some of the, the medications I'm taking, but Otherwise, like I said, you know, I wanted to come off the birth control. I really try to keep it simple for like skincare stuff. Um, so I pretty much just like wash my face and then, you know, moisturize that kind of thing. I wear makeup to go to work and then, you know, take it off right when I get home because I don't really want to wear it anymore. And then obviously I use a bunch of banished products. So yeah, that's a little bit about my story for right now, I guess. Since it was so long ago, I feel like it's actually worse than it used to be, even though it doesn't look like horrible right now. But I feel like they're starting to become more like cystic, which really concerns me. Because I know that's like a lot harder to treat. My dermatologist used to always kind of say like, well, you know, Accutane may or may not work. It doesn't always work the same on like hormonal acne as it does for, you know, different kinds. So that's why I've always kind of pushed it off. But yeah, I mean, I would say in general, it's probably worse than it was when I first had it when I was like 16 and probably would prefer that kind of acne than what I have now, but you don't know that when you're 16, so. Oh, definitely. Like, you don't want to go out. Um, you, you tend to just kind of look down all the time, sorry. It definitely affects your mental health. Um, I've started to try to be more confident with just going out without makeup. But it can be really hard. Um, and like I said, you know, I start coaching coming up soon and that's kind of when like the pill would wear off. So like I said, I'm just really concerned that's when it's going to get really bad. And it's just... You know, people say, like, yeah, it's just, you can't always control it, but you just feel like people judge you for it, even though you have no control over it. And people don't understand that. So, yeah, it's just, I mean, I can go without makeup in front of certain people, but if it's really bad, I don't like to.
I feel like it's gotten worse the last couple of years. Like, I mean, because you can kind of brush it off, like, in high school. Of Like, yeah, everyone has it in high school. I mean, not everyone does, but, like, you know, it's kind of like once you get older, you feel like you shouldn't have it. Like, you feel like it should just be when you're in high school and then it's like, great, you're done. But that's just not the case. Um, so it's, I mean, obviously, like, it really affects me. Um, and, like, I don't even have it as bad as other people do, and I realize that. But compared to, like, everyone I know, that like, they don't have to do anything for their skin. Like, they just, they, they could literally just not even wash their face, and they're totally fine. They can eat whatever they want. And so it's just really frustrating. Um, so, like I said, I'm still working on it. Um, work, you know, going out without makeup on, even when it's bad. Um, but, yeah, it's still work in progress every day. Yeah, definitely. I was literally just looking at some earlier today. I find a lot of them through the people that use Banish and, you know, that's the whole point of their page and stuff it's really encouraging you try to validate like i mean it sounds really bad but like you'll look at something like oh they have it worse than i do like i should be really thankful and it's like i hate to say that about someone else when i'm like i know exactly how they feel but yeah like you said it just kind of validates you of like okay like i don't have it as bad i shouldn't be so upset about it um but yeah it's really nice to see people actually being so honest since social media can be so fake like kind of the point of it like you know um so yeah just seeing people really open up and kind of and i also like seeing kind of what they use for products and like that kind of thing and that's how i found some of the things that i use um so just kind of seeing like you know did it work for them maybe it'll work for me so that kind of thing if you can find someone that has like similar you know, like I said, I have hormonal acne, so someone else that has it, and they say, like, oh, this worked for me. Like, great, maybe I'll try that. If it worked for you, maybe it'll work for me. So, but yeah, I do really enjoy those pages. I mean, be patient. Like, I totally get it's so difficult to, like, you know, wait for it to go away. Like, it's not easy. Be confident. You know, like I said, even though it's it's really hard to be confident, but, like, just gotta go out that you can't hide away which i mean i guess technically i'm guilty of too so i should take my own advice but um <laughs> yeah i mean i would i honestly encourage people to like look up the skin positivity pages like see that there are so many other people that deal with it and like don't listen if people try to put you down for it it doesn't define you. Um, I mean, obviously getting rid of it would be great, but <laughs> that's no quick fix. Um, I think just like on days where like, I don't think my skin looks that bad, try going without makeup or like cut it back. I mean, I really don't wear heavy makeup anyways. Um, I just use like a light powder type conceal like combination so it's not even heavy for me but I mean try going without like to work I mean because like usually obviously like I said when I get home I take my makeup off right away weekends I typically don't wear it unless I'm like going out somewhere so I think trying to start doing that to really just you know be like it's totally normal but like obviously it's really hard for anyone to do because you feel like people are just staring. Also, I mean, I have a terrible habit of, like, picking at my face. Which, like, that's the one habit I wish I never started. So I really need to work on not doing that. Because I think that's what makes it worse. Make it look so bad half the time is because I, like... So that, that's... Those are huge things for me, I think. I so, say, yeah, I mean, there's always ups and downs. Like, I... I always say, like, I have good days, good weeks, like, some days it doesn't look so bad, some days it's like, you wake up and you're like, what the heck happened overnight? Um, so I think it's just, it's an up and down road, and it's, 
it's a long journey. Like, who knows when it'll end, but just staying consistent is what I'm really working on. And hoping that really helps with it. I think I found it at least a year ago. I want to say my sister found it and then told me about it. I'm assuming she was looking up because, like I said, she had done Accutane, so probably to help with, like, texture and scarring, I think is what she had found it for, probably. And then she told me about it. I feel like I had seen, like, when you go to the website, like, for some reviews posted, and, like, some pictures, and I'm assuming I'd looked through, like, Instagram or something beforehand and seen, like, it really does work on like scarring and stuff and helping like even you know a few days or overnight it can look better so i think that's what really sold it for me so i think the like redness and scarring and that kind of thing is what is so bad for me i'm outgoing i'm very sarcastic i love animals. I can be a people person if I want, and sometimes I like just being by myself, reading a book. Like, I've really gotten into podcasts. So, really just working on finding, like, you know, school obviously has, like, defined me for so many years. Like, you're in school till you're 22, basically, and then you have to figure out, like, kind of who you are outside of school. So, I'm still working on that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just working on discovering myself more outside of you know, everything that has always defined me. I was really excited for the call. I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, you know, I don't know. I've never done something like this where like a company actually reaches out. So it was exciting. But just to be able to share like my input, you know, even just on some of the products, like, yeah, like here's a suggestion for maybe what to change or like I used all of them, all the products, like I can give my opinion. And I guess leaving it, it's just kind of like, Okay, take your own advice, like, you know, it's not that, that bad, but yeah, I guess I'm just excited to see if I can change my mindset now.